weather authority meteorologist Violet Skyber and Violet snow not so much yet but it is coming. It is light outside mm -hmm. in parts of the area right now, but it will become heavier later on today. And the main concern is looking ahead to this evening. Now, this system is not just affecting the Northeast. It's a huge system stretching all the way back out by Texas, where there's even winter storm warnings down there. Even Dallas, Texas right now seeing some heavy snow. It's also bringing some ice to the middle of the country right now. And as that moves to the Northeast, we could get some ice as well for the southern tier looking towards after sunset once the ground becomes comes cold enough to start seeing that ice freeze on the ground. So we do have a winter storm warning that's in effect now up until Friday afternoon when the snow comes to an end. But the snow is light outside right now for this afternoon. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. Widespread light snow, some heavier pockets down to the south by Ithaca, Cortland and Norwich and mixing in with rain for areas to the far south and east. And this is all because a stationary front sits right on top of the state with colder air above it for central New York and the north country and warmer air below it, which is why we're seeing rain to the far south and freezing rain right along the stationary front. But really not going to see much ice accumulation again until after sunset once the ground gets cold enough. For central New York and the North Country, that snow will continue to pile on as this area of low pressure slides in along the stationary front, keeping that widespread snow on top of us and becoming heavier towards tonight. So right now we're seeing some wet and slushy road conditions, slushy in those higher elevations that got about an inch or so so far. By 5 p.m., an additional 2 to 4 inches for most spots. By 10 p.m., 3 to 6 inches of additional snowfall, which is about an inch of snow per hour. So that's when it really starts to get heavy and you'll want to stay off the roads tonight and tomorrow morning as well. It will still be coming down heavy at times. It's not until after 7 a.m towards the late morning and into the midday on Friday that we're only expecting a few more inches before the snow tapers off late afternoon on Friday. So to time this out right now, seeing some widespread light snow only about an inch or so on the ground in the higher elevations, whereas in Syracuse and a lot of places, it's melting with just wet ground. Towards 5 p.m. and after sunset, that's when we'll get some heavy pockets of snow mixed in there and also some sleet and freezing rain for areas to the far south and southeast. And that's when we'll see some icy spots develop on the ground for those areas. As we go towards tomorrow morning, that's when the snow eventually begins to lighten up after 7 a.m., becoming more scattered and tapering off by Friday afternoon. How much snowfall we can expect? Well, in general, most places will get around 10 to 16 inches, and this comes as the new model outputs show a general consensus of right through central New York being the highlight of this system. For areas far south, 6 to 10 inches, and then 3 to 6 inches for areas farther west. The Adirondacks are going to be the peak of that. And also some light ice accumulation to the south and east, just about a tenth to a quarter of an inch for areas down south. A check of your seven-day forecast will be drying out this weekend with some chilly temperatures and then we climb back into the mid-30s by next week with a nice quiet period of weather as well. Abby?